درود خدمت شما دوستان عزیز محمد مهربوی هستم مدرس این دوره و با هفتمین درس از کتاب تا چستون دو یا همون تا چستون آبی در خدمتون هستم The topic of this lesson is going away Going away means going to travel or going on a trip Going out of a place that you're living in Or sometimes go out of a place that you are in right now Uh, we have four pictures here. One, two, three, and four. Let's talk about pictures. Picture one, there are two guys. Uh, they're chilling out next to a river, I think. Number two, uh, there's a passport. There is a guidebook. Uh, maybe the guy wants to go on a trip. Number three, Uh, there are three guys with a tent. Maybe they're staying overnight somewhere. And um, they are on a picnic, maybe. And number four, two guys on board. Maybe they are going to travel or they are going to other cities. Before you begin, I need you to think of uh, three different things that... We have here like think of three fun places to go on a trip three fun places maybe uh, you can go to museums you can go to uh, to the beach if there is one and you can go shopping for example think of uh, three things you always take on a trip You can say your box, your laptop, your charger, maybe your hair dryer, maybe uh, toiletries. And uh, so three fun things you do on a trip. Maybe you dance with your friends, maybe you listen to music or whatever. And think of three different ways to travel. You can say by plane, by car, uh, by bus by train i hate trains in iran i hate trains and i just tried trains two times i mean twice okay lesson a getting ready uh look at rita's to-do list uh, for her upcoming trip what other things do you need to do before a trip make a list First, let's read her to-do list. To-do list, guys, is a list of uh, things you need to do before going somewhere. For example, if you have an upcoming trip uh, in two days, you need to have a to-do list uh, not to forget things to do. Okay? If you have it, you can just check everything that you do so you won't miss anything. Get a new suitcase and pack, travel, buy travel size toiletries. Toiletries um, are things such as soap, toothpaste that are used for cleaning yourself. Go online to research flights. Send flight info to Aunt Maria. Take photo ID check on weather I never did that before but I will do it okay so can you add anything else yes if you are going abroad you can get foreign currency uh, change your money research information about the place make hotel reservation if you're not staying with somebody there and maybe you need to rent a car Okay, if you need, you can, if you have anything else, you can add here. I just added four things, I think, yeah. Now let's listen. What's Rita going to do in Puerto Rico? Is she ready for the trip? And practice the conversation. Okay, guys, you need to answer to these two questions. What's Rita going to do in Puerto Rico? And is she ready for the trip? Let's listen and answer these two questions. Sí. 
CD number 3, page 66, unit 7, going away. Lesson A, getting ready. 1. Getting started. B. Listen. What's Rita going to do in Puerto Rico? Is she ready for the trip? Practice the conversation. So, are you all packed for your trip? No, I'm nowhere near ready. Look at my to do list. I need to go shopping to get a suitcase, and I still have to go online to find a flight. Uh oh. So, is it expensive to fly to Puerto Rico, or is it easy to find cheap flights? Well, it's not too hard to find a bargain. You just have to do some research. Right. So, why are you going exactly? To see my relatives in San Juan. Then we're all going someplace to go snorkeling. Nice. Sounds like a fun trip. Good luck with your list. Thanks. Okay, so what's Rita going to do in Puerto Rico? Perfect to see her relatives in San Juan. And then they're going someplace to go snorkeling. Is she ready for the trip? She said, No, I'm nowhere near ready, means <clears throat> I'm not ready at all.、Uh, when you want to say that you are not, not ready at all, you better say, I'm nowhere near ready. Okay, let's do part C circle,、uh, the correct verb forms com、uh, to complete the sentences. I'm going to Puerto Rico, see or to see my relatives, to see my relatives. So we don't need see, you need to plus verb, which is called infinitive in、uh, English.、Uh, Structure. I still have to go online to buy or buying a ticket.、Uh, I still have to go online to find. Okay, so we need to buy. Infinitive again. Is it cheap to fly to Puerto Rico? Of course, is it? Is it cheap to fly to Puerto Rico? Is easy to find a bargain? Look at this. This is a.、Uh, A sentence. This is a positive sentence. So you don't need to be verb here. So it's easy to find a bargain. And what does bargain mean? What does bargain mean? When you pay less money to, to get something or to buy something, we call it a bargain. For example, you need to buy a car for two million tomans. For example, And you can get it for 1 million and 500 thousand t o m a n s So you get a good bargain here. Of course, you cannot buy a car with this price. Let's go to grammar infinitives for reasons, to, to plus verb for reasons, and it's plus adjective to plus two. Okay. <clears throat> Look at this. Why are you going to Puerto Rico? To see my relatives. You are giving a reason. Okay, you can say because. After because, you can bring the reason. So you don't need to write or to say because, so you can use just an infinitive. I'm going to Puerto Rico. Why? To see my relatives. I need to go shopping. Why? To get a suitcase. I have to go online. Why? To find a flight. See? And I need,、uh, I need to record some lessons to teach my students. I need to go out to, to go shopping.、Mm-hmm. I need to study hard to pass my exam. Got it? Okay. And you can use this as structure to describe a verb like it's easy, hard, expensive, good, bad adjective to,、uh, to describe a verb. Let's、uh, show you an example. Is it expensive to fly? 
it is expensive to fly or is it expensive to fly? It's easy to find you're describing getting a cheap flight online. It's easy to find a cheap flight online. It's easy to find bargains online. It's easy to do. It's not hard to do. See, you need an uh, adjective after it's and after that you need an infinitive. Let's do some exercise here. Some exercises here, sorry. Complete the conversations, uh, conversation uh, extracts and use infinitives for reasons. I'm going to go to Tokyo. Why? To study Japanese. I'm going to go to Tokyo to study Japanese next month. I'm staying with a family on an exchange program and I just got my visa. B. Uh, of course, you can pause the video first. Do it. Uh, you can do it. Then you can come back and we'll do it together. Wow! So necessary. It's an adjective. And learn some Japanese before you go. Okay. So it's necessary to learn some Japanese before you go right well yeah nice again so it's nice to say whatever thank you and things important no few expressions I think I think so it's important to to know a few expressions I think next one I want to get a phrase book why to read on the plane I need to buy a guidebook that was a phrase book it is a guidebook why to get some ideas for sightseeing too so we have an adjective here so we say so it's easy to get around get around to get around Tokyo sorry it should be it's easy to get around Tokyo well, they say it's not hard. It's a negative. It's negative, yeah. It's a negative verb. It's it's not hard to. Sorry. Mm, it's not hard to use the subway. But I heard it's easy. To get lost. Get lost means when you lose your address. Gom shodan. I need to go to the bank. Why? To change some money to. Go to the bank. Why? To change some money. Right? I heard it's good to what? To have some cash. Cash means money. Money that you can carry with you. You know, you need to carry some cash. Why to? Why to pay for taxes? And the last one, you need uh, you need to carry some cash to pay uh, to pay for taxes and things. Possible? It's it's negative. What's uh, it's not possible to pay for everything with a credit card? Actually, it's a question. Sorry, I have to say, is is it? Isn't it? Isn't it? 
it sends it possible to pay for everything with a credit card guys look this is a question and I, of course it was a question sorry my bad I didn't see that so is it easy pay attention to the question mark okay so again here we have a question mark sorry didn't pay attention is it necessary to learn and the last one no really it's not easy to do that okay let's go to reduction of two I, I'm sure that you've heard a lot from me that I pronounce this te, not tu. Is it expensive to visit your country, not to visit your country? Well, it's hard to find cheap hotels. It's hard to find cheap hotels, but you have a reduction of two, so you can say it's hard to find cheap hotels. Now, let's listen and complete uh, the questions. I need you to complete these questions so you will hear two like t in this listening part. Let's listen. Page 67. 3. Speaking naturally. Reduction of 2. B. Listen and complete the questions. Then, ask and answer the questions with a partner. 1. Do you need a visa to visit your country? 2. Do you need to speak the language to get around your city? 3. Is it easy to find a cheap place to stay? 4. Is it safe to walk around late at night? 5. Do you have to pay to go in museums? Very good. So, uh, do you need a visa to visit your country? To visit your country? <laughs> Guys, is it, is it, uh, I mean, do you need a visa to visit Iran? <laughs> not for Chinese. Do you need to speak a language or do you, do you need to speak the language to get around your city? To get around your city. Very good. Number three. Is it easy to find a cheap place to stay? To find a cheap place to stay. Is it safe? to walk around late at night and do you have to pay to go to museums to go to, to museums or to go in museums the same uh, it, it's the same guys do you have to pay to go in museums or to go to museums the same okay guys uh, it is the end of lesson A I hope you enjoy that and I hope you love that. Okay, see you soon with lesson B.